In this age of 4K video, thousands of photos on our phones and computers, and a culture that doesn't really like to delete anything, having enough storage for all your digital files can be tough. I'm Erin from TechGadgetsCanada.com, and sure, you can pay for additional cloud storage, but that definitely adds up. A better option is to consider a compact portable storage drive like the new WD brand My Passport SSD in capacities up to 2 terabytes. I'd like to thank Western Digital for sponsoring this post. While they have sponsored this blog and video as part of an influencer activation for TechFluence and told me about its key features, they have not told me what I can or can't say, so consider these thoughts my own. Let's face it, storage devices have been pretty utilitarian, focused on capacity over durability, and without a whole lot of concern for style, until now. The new WD brand My Passport SSD is super small, with a thickness that's smaller than a stack of business cards, and it's sleek, rounded, and ultra slim and light. This is the kind of portable storage you can truly take anywhere. Plus, in some other cool color combinations, the WD brand My Passport SSD is the one to choose if you want a little life in your laptop bag. This drive is also shock and drop resistant up to six and a half feet, and it's compatible with both Mac and PC. More than just a pretty package, the My Passport SSD offers blazing fast speeds powered by NVMe technology. And this new palm-sized drive allows work from home folks and business users to transport, save, access, and protect all the content they need to. So what is an SSD and why might you need one of these in particular? The CliffsNotes version is this. SSD stands for Solid State Drive, and an SSD is a bit different than a standard hard drive. Now, while they both perform the same basic functions, that is, storing your valuable data, hard drives are essentially spinning metal disks, and the data is accessed when they're powered and in motion. A solid state drive, by contrast, stores your data on connected flash memory microchips, which makes SSD drives faster and more quiet since there are no moving parts. Now, understandably, these drives tend to cost a little bit more than traditional hard drives. Let's talk about the guts. The My Passport SSD delivers read speeds of up to 1050 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 1000 megabytes per second. The My Passport SSD helps keep your content secure. It has password protection with 256-bit AES hardware encryption to help protect valuable content easily and without a lot of fuss. Just connect it to your laptop or computer and transfer files in seconds. It can also work as a backup device for Apple's Time Machine, which is what I was most interested in it for, though it is worth noting you do need to reformat it to do that. Want to connect to other cloud-based accounts and services? Included backup software makes it easy to move your high-capacity files to your drive or your cloud service account. The My Passport SSD Drive's WD backup software can be set to run automatically on a schedule. Just pick the time and frequency to backup those important files from your system onto your My Passport SSD Drive. Best of all, there is no setup needed to use and copy files right away. You can plug this in and use it right out of the package. The My Passport SSD uses USB 3.2 Generation 2 technology, and it comes with a USB-C cable and a USB-A adapter, so it can work with both older and newer connections. The drive is available in gray, gold, red, and blue, and it comes in 500 gigabyte sizes, one terabyte, which is what I've got here, and two terabyte capacities as well. It also has a five-year limited warranty. Prices start at about 169 Canadian dollars. I'm going to be giving away one of these My Passport SSD drives in the next two weeks following this video's posting date. To enter, just use this entry link, and good luck! If you want to read this review or reference any of what I talked about, you can head over to techgadgetscanada.com where I've posted a full write-up. You can also ask me any questions you have either there on the blog or, as always, here on the YouTube channel. I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. Until the next time, you can find me on either Twitter or Instagram. I'm at ErinLYYC. You can also catch me on Facebook at facebook.com slash TechGadgetsCanada.